Hello, everyone. Hi. We are Jason and Chrissy. Mm -hmm. Twin Flames. Mm -hmm. And Harmonious Twin Flame Union. Mm -hmm. We are. And married. Okay. Yep. All the things. And we are going to talk <laughs> about. Well, that's funny. I don't know. Okay. We're going to talk about uh, autism spectrum today. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we recently like. I, th I think actually we'll be talking about it a lot in upcoming videos and things. Okay. Maybe. Uh, we recently were uh, invited into um, looking at the possibility of having autism or being mm -hmm. on the autism spectrum. And um, since then, a lot of things just kind of like um, made a lot of sense uh, in our in both of our lives. Yeah, right? very eye opening. Um, mm -hmm. It ex there it, it explained like a lot of things that have that have uh, occurred in our lives and how we behaved, how we acted, um, just how we operate, how we operated. Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. in general. Mm -hmm. And so, like as we've it's been or maybe a couple of months or something like that. Yeah, about two months. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like, uh, as we've, you know, dove into this, like, um, it's brought a lot of relief uh, to us. Um, it's also uh, brought a lot of things to like work through uh, mm -hmm. on, on many different levels, like emotionally and psychologically work through. Um, and also, like has been uh, quite challenging, I think, in terms of like, uh, well, one, finding out like what it's like to have autism as an adult. Like there's- Yeah, there's, we're, we're there's, both in our forties. So this sure. was a very like uh, eye-opening exploration for us. And that's one thing with, uh, the way that we live life with the teachings of union is being willing to explore something that's presented to you uh, with an open mind and an open heart to gain clarity and find deeper peace in your relationship with yourself and others. And uh, that's what we chose to do. We chose to explore it and we are still exploring it. And we are actually also moving through the process of being properly you know, diagnosed to see if this is actually what's going on. We truly believe it is in our hearts. And so we're moving through that process. And I have actually my first, like I have a full day of testing coming up uh, in the next week or so. And so that's gonna be very eye-opening in regards to what this might be and what it looks like. Mm -hmm. So we are still under exploration, but I did want to, we did, we wanted to come on and like, just start talking about it and talking about how we got here and you know what we're doing moving forward and how things have changed and just like, share our experience of being you know adults and finding out uh, that we're autistic. We're we're moving sure. forward with the belief that we are autistic until otherwise shown to us. Like that seems to be yeah. like the it fits what's the, going on with us very clearly. The open doors for us mm -hmm. at the moment, um, yeah. but there are not a lot of resources to like um, dealing, managing, or dealing with autism like of, as an adult. Right. And so like there's way, way, way um, boatloads of misconceptions about like yeah. what autism is. Right. And like mm -hmm. um, it's all, you know, it's a unique thing. Like not everyone with autism is going to be exactly the same in mm -hmm. all of these different areas. And so uh, everyone has a unique um set point in, in terms of that yeah i think that um you know i've we've researched it a bit like we don't dive too deeply into the research uh we just brush the surface right but something that i found quite alarming was that most of the early on research for autism was done on on males and so um there was a lot of you know they did it on younger adolescent males or children or male children boys 
And, but there was not very much on females or how it presented in females. And so for females with autism, it was a lot of times overlooked in childhood and um, because that it presents differently in females than it does in males. And so uh, there's a lot of masking or people pleasing that I personally experienced in order to function in the world. And I have over time trained myself to act a certain way or be a certain way to not ruffle feathers, to not cause drama, to not raise issue in a room. Um, and simply being very sensitive to the room would maneuver myself and act accordingly in order to maintain what would be considered peace or uh, a, what's the right word I'm looking for here? Just a, a, a sense of um, collaboration in a room uh, for a really long time all the way back to, you know, grade school, if I can remember. So that's an interesting component. And like, there's, um, you know, as we dived into this, and we're just very honest with what was being shown to us, like that we really keep to ourselves. Uh, we, we genuinely love each other and enjoy talking to each other. And we never have, you know, dull moments in our lives. Like, you know, Jason's my twin flame. And so we're always going deeper in our conversation and it never really gets boring but outside of you know you know being with him um <laughs> we have very like few relationships in our life and we're very grateful for the relationships that we do have and for the the people that we surround ourselves who understand that uh and love us unconditionally for who we are and not try to control or change us into being something that we're not we're, we're very very grateful for that So what else you have, babe? Okay. So I guess that's what we're gonna be unpacking for you here in the in this series of videos is uh simply our experiences. We're gonna kind of break it down into different things, whether it's like how we've been masking things or childhood experiences, mm -hmm. like reflecting on how our minds operate versus how everyone around us operate. You know, we we tend to move through data very quickly, uh, can package data very quickly. Jason's mind is very um number heavy like he can like you know um really calculate things very quickly and as a chef as a trained chef jason can tell you the difference between the metric systems and all the different components and well, measurements like, very quickly like yeah like in a to you know in a um broader idea is that like what what we've what we've like uh obtained from the little uh, data that's out there, um, the the small amount of people that are talking about uh, having like high functioning autism uh, as an adult, right, mm -hmm. or, or that have been diagnosed as an adult rather than like early on in, in their childhood, is that like um, they're that autism isn't like um, uh, something that like there's a deficiency or there's something wrong with anyone uh, right. they're just different and they yeah they're they in process things mm -hmm. differently and they um they're wired differently uh they understand mm -hmm. things differently than the the masses of people yeah and so there's you know we we really resonated more deeply with uh, and this is why we're choosing to do this this is like we resonated very deeply with the people who have autism, who were sharing their stories of being autistic and their experiences being autistic. When we were doing the research, we really deeply resonated with that. Uh, and we felt like when I reviewed things of studies of uh, like autistic people or studies in um, explanations of, of autistic behavior, uh, and people, I found a dissonance there in regards to how I felt and experienced life. But when I listened to autistic people uh, share their stories, I found a deep connection and understanding of what they did. We watched a couple of documentaries, some TED Talks uh, that we found along the way, and it really resonated with us. And we've been battling through uh, inner, you know, in a reflection on sharing our story, on sharing like what we have here, because it's not necessarily the most natural thing for us to do, to share our experiences. We tend to want to just keep it to ourselves. But I do think that because I found such great value in 
uh, other autistic people being brave enough and courageous enough to share their stories, I wanted to do the same. And I felt very driven to just share and maybe do some kind of video blogging in regards to our experiences. And so I think that's ultimately why we're here and we're choosing to do it. And we're gonna just continue to do so along our journey and see where it takes us. Uh, and yeah, I think that's- Yeah, like the, what we, the things that we did find were very like helpful to us at the time. Yeah. Um, and so, but, but we also found that like, it wasn't a whole lot to, to choose from. And so like, if we can, if we can share our experience uh, and just bring more understanding, uh, knowledge, information, um, and light to the subject and uh, to the people that, you know, are in, in a similar uh, experience as us, then, um, you know, we're happy to do so and, and mm -hmm. just like help, help those, those people out that, that, that are looking for it. Yeah. And so I guess with that, we'll see you in the next one. See you. <laughs>